What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video we are talking about GameCube games yet again and how the prices have skyrocketed. In this video I have four games that you would absolutely not believe that the prices have skyrocketed with them. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so I have four GameCube games here that I'm going to talk about um, uh, what the prices are and what they were and everything like that. But before that happens, um, I want to say thank you to RGT85 for the recent shout out over the weekend. Um, on Sunday, he shouted out my channel. He did a video actually about this topic because um, a few weeks ago I did the GameCube um, prices have been skyrocketing and those were like games that were something you would expect to be expensive um, but those had skyrocketed I made a video about it he saw it he reached out we talked a little bit about it then he actually made a video about the same thing and his was way better than mine let's be honest here um, but I want to say thank you for that and also if you came over from that video I want to say thank you very much it means a lot um, I'm a small channel and I'm grinding I love creating content so thank you for listening to RGT 85 coming over and having some fun here now um, before we just go right into it I want to say if you haven't watched that video this is kind of a um, predecessor to that now that video was about eight games on the Nintendo GameCube that have skyrocketed completely and some of them uh, rose exponentially two or three times some not as much but in this video, I'm actually going to talk about a few games that weren't in that video because they weren't games you would expect. And so I thought this would be a great video to kind of follow that up because um, these games are going crazy high in prices and these are all games that I didn't even think of when I was looking at that video to make in the first place afterwards. Um, I went back and looked at the prices and I was like, okay, some of these are a little bit insane. So what we're going to do is talk about those four here today. Now what I will say is these are all price charting prices. Um, these are right when I'm videoing this, I literally looked them up five minutes before this video went uh, recorded, but I want to say um, uh, the price charting is not the end all be all, but it's a great place to start off. So we're just using that as prices. Now it averages from eBay, Amazon, and other things like that. So it is somewhat of an average, but those numbers can be influenced and all that crazy stuff. But um, we're not gonna pay attention to any of that stuff. We're just taking that and basing it kind of on how these prices are. So what I'm going to do is grab my phone, pull it out, we'll talk about these games here. And then afterwards, um, I kinda wanna talk about what RGT85 said about kind of why this is happening and why I agree with him. Like, we talked about it a little bit and, and I definitely agree with what he has to say. So let's go ahead and check out the games. The first game here is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Now I looked this up and I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be like a $20, $25 game. Uh, it's not gonna be worth all that much to be honest, but boy was I wrong. Like honestly, I was not expecting it to be worth this much. And so when I pulled this up, um, I'll tell you loose and uh, complete in box uh, prices as well. Um, loose, this is $25.44. That's just for the disc. And then complete, $38.50. Never did I think Sonic Adventure 2 Battle would be a $40 game. That to me is just astronomical and I would never expect that. Um, but we'll talk about why I think that is in the um, future. But the prices on this thing is insane it used to be about twenty dollars um complete in box and 2020 has uh basically doubled the price on that which uh is absolutely crazy so if you are looking for a copy of this you should have bought it last year and you would have got it for way cheaper but if you have a copy that you're sitting on and you need to sell it you should probably think about selling it right now like that's a crazy good deal Moving on, the next game that I picked is one that I think is attributed to the new game that just came out for it. 
Um, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure that's true. But I do want to state that that could definitely have an influence on the price of this game going up. And that is Animal Crossing. Now, uh, this is obviously the GameCube version, but Animal Crossing did release on the Nintendo Switch and it is crazy everyone loves it and so i wanted to talk about this because of that now if i looked at this um just off the cuff i'd say 30 dollars game okay 30 dollars for animal crossing i would be dead wrong now i looked it up and i was absolutely blown away for animal crossing loose just the disc right now 41 dollars and 76 cents to me, that's insane. Now, complete, it is $58.85. Would you have been able to convince me um, six months or 12 months ago that Animal Crossing would have been a $60 game um, on the GameCube? I probably would have been like, $40, yeah, 60, probably not. That is absolutely insane. Now, though I will say that, um, the release of the switch version has kind of i don't know if renewed um uh, people being interested in this or if people were already interested in it and it just happened but i think that definitely probably helped um because the switch version is so awesome and so widely played so that's probably why this is going well because honestly this is a fun game if you don't have it but looking back at this before 20 20 this game was at about $20 it, it spiked at one point at about 75 to 80 which is completely insane but now it's kind of settled back down to 60 so that is a game that I did not expect would be worth that much and so when I saw that I was completely blown away and I knew that I had to talk about it in this video because I just was not expecting that at all now next is probably a game that diehard GameCube fans know, but uh, it's not one of those games that you're like, oh, that's a GameCube game, that's obvious, like, but no. This game is actually worth more than I thought. I was thinking 25 bucks for it, and that is Custom Robo. Now I've had this game uh, on my GameCube. It's a fun game to play, honestly. It's a cool mech game, and if you haven't played it, you definitely should but I didn't expect it to be worth as much as it is. Now, when I looked it up, loose $31.23 and complete $41.40. This is a $40 game on the GameCube in 2020, at least in August of 2020. That to me is insane. Now, it's a fun game and it's awesome, but it's not one of those games that gets a ton of hype, or I guess none of these games really get a ton of hype, to be honest. Um, but this is not a game that I would expect to have been worth $42 almost. That's just crazy to me. It looks like things are changing for GameCube games. Now, last but not least is the last game I wanted to talk about. And uh, this one, I am kind of surprised, but kind of not. Like, this is an awesome game. It looks great, plays fun, um, and all of that. But I feel like this is a game that kind of... Is underrated on the GameCube and to, so to see it at this price I was a little bit surprised now I expected this game to be about a 15 to 20 dollar game um, and I was wrong I, I as you guys could tell I've been wrong on most of these prices because I didn't didn't realize that these are spiking up this much but I picked out beautiful Joe 2 now I don't have the original but I have the this one and the uh, the Red Hot Rumble one. Um, but I looked this up. Disc only. This is only fourteen dollars and eighty seven cents. Not a bad price. All right, cool. But when you look at the complete price, thirty one dollars and thirty nine cents. To me, that is surprising. That the disc is almost half of what the complete price is. Now, usually that's not the case. Usually it's like five to ten dollars but this is double which i didn't know is only 15 but when the game is so cheap loose it's kind of interesting to see so beautiful joe 2 on the gamecube complete is worth 31 dollars now if you look at it and you go back to before um 2020 started it was about an 18 to 20 dollar game and here we're looking at it as a 30 dollar game 
$32. That is pretty insane to me, and honestly, I'm shocked to see this. Now, if you add all these games up, you're looking at about $100. That is four games. Actually, it's probably more than $100, probably like $120, $125. But that is four games on the GameCube that I did not expect to be worth so much. Now, yes, Animal Crossing is a beloved game, but I didn't think it was going to be that much. And the others are good games, but I still didn't expect them to be this much. And that's why I decided to make this video. Now, if you watched um, RGT85's um, video from Sunday and you watched till the end, you notice uh, kind of towards the end of the video, he talks about why he thinks this is happening. And I'm definitely in agreement. Um, and I think there's two layers to this. And the first one is, like he said, is that people who had a GameCube when they are kids are now able to afford them. They're uh, getting to that age where they're probably 22 to 25, maybe 27, 28, and they are remembering when they had a GameCube and they were playing it and they loved it, and now they can afford it, they can pick up the games that they want, so I think demand is there um, in that aspect that people are wanting a GameCube. Now I haven't even looked at console prices, maybe that's something I should do, um, and maybe I'll talk about that on the Instagram or something like that. But I want to say as well that retro games have been booming lately um, due to the coronavirus. Now everyone's stuck at home, or at least some version of stuck at home and so I feel like gaming is more of a good way to like escape the real world problems with the pandemic and everything else going on um, and so I think GameCube games are um, benefiting from both of these. People are now uh, able to play them and buy them, they've got money, but also other people are stuck at home and they're um, learning about these games and they're wanting to play them as well. So I think that is where RGT85 hit this on the nail when he said both of those. Um, I think he brought that into a good point and we're starting to see Nintendo 64 prices kind of go down a little bit. Um, maybe not as much because of COVID, but the prices of GameCubes have skyrocketed and so I think that is something to be on the lookout for. If you are looking to buy GameCube games, I think you're going to have to spend a little bit more money now. Um, but on the horizon, I think Wii games in the next five years could do the same exact thing. And I think this is uh, like cyclical and it happens. Um, it happened with the NES, the NES, NES now um, the Nintendo 64, then the, now the GameCube as well. And so I think just be on the lookout. If you're looking for games, um, now's the best time to buy games or at least definitely the best time to sell them because prices have skyrocketed um but obviously if you're wanting to buy games and play them do that as well so i want to say thank you uh one more time to rgt85 for uh watching my first video and then shouting me out he gave me a ton of new followers and subs so thank you so much if you came over from that as well um but i want to know what you guys think comment down below and let me know now I only talked about four games in this video, but I thought they were well worth talking about because they're games that are like 40% cheaper last year and now they're just going up in price. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know if I post more videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And one more time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget um, if you're going to go out uh, be safe, protect yourselves, um, practice social distancing, stay six feet away from each other, wash your hand, wear a mask, all that stuff so you and your family are safe. Now, I don't want to get political or anything like that, but I want to say um, uh, just make sure you are safe. Uh, that's all that really matters. So one more time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.